We went to the mountain on uh, sat on Sunday to try and get out of the hot uh, weather in Tucson. Uh, it's about it's a little it's it's probably it was probably about 104 uh, in Tucson, and um, I want to say that it might have been around 80 in the mid 80s or upper 80s in the mountains so it wasn't as good as we would like we would we would have liked it probably to be in the 70s or maybe in the 60s um, because we wore some sweaters and stuff uh, but uh, we ended up taking them off and putting on just shirts um, well, you know, just short sleeve shirts. But anyway, I was using the restroom over at the over at the um, Spencer Canyon where we stayed, and they got you know they got that toilet right there, and it's very very deep, and it's dark down there, and so I don't know. I I guess I'm just. I don't know, creature of habit. I I just don't. I I just get nervous about sitting on that toilet. I, I I feel like, well, what if there's like a a monster in there and it comes up and it bites my butt, you know? Or or what if the toilet breaks and I accidentally fall into the you know the big uh, big sewer sewer thing? But uh. So, so it's like, I don't know, maybe probably 10 feet deep or 20 feet deep uh, uh, on that toilet. So, I what I figured is I was just going to transfer onto the, uh, well, not transfer, but just kind of um, move my legs around so that I would be able to catheterize directly into the toilet without having to without having to transfer onto the toilet. I mean they had they had a horizontal bars, uh and those horizontal bars looked pretty good, you know. I mean the whole the whole bathroom looked very clean. So, you know, I there wasn't you know, there was it wasn't covered with brown or anything like that, so everything was pretty clean, but I just you know, I'm just kinda nervous about the whole uh, sewer if say if there's a sewer monster or something like that and just just silly I guess um, so what I did was I got some toilet paper and I cleaned up the the sink um, or not the sink but the, the toilet cover a little bit where the where the um, where the seat goes I, I cleaned that up and then I cleaned up the uh, the part underneath the sink, the I guess it's the the basin or the pedestal. I'm not quite sure what they call that. Uh, and then then I then I catheterized into the into the toilet. I it w I had to get I had to move my legs quite a bit um, in awkward positions so that I would get pretty darn close to the toilet so that I would be able to to catheterize directly into the toilet. I was thinking about maybe I should have brought my extension thing, um, but I didn't know. Maybe it was out in the car, maybe it was out in the truck, but I'm lazy and I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to go out there and get that extension thing and come back. I just wanted to get this thing done with, get it done and over with if I could. So uh, I catheterized there and then, uh, and then, um, you know, I put my my catheter in my sock, and and after that, then I uh, uh, I I put my used catheter. I just dropped it in the in the uh, in the toilet there. So, you know, uh, got rid of that thing, and uh, I it was only one of those used ones. Uh, catheters, so it was okay, and then uh, and then afterwards, then I used a little bit more toilet paper, and I kind of cleaned up the the, um, the 
the basin, I guess, of the, of the toilet. And then uh, I close the lid uh, after I put the toilet, toilet paper, some used toilet paper in the in the, um, in the toilet. And I thought maybe I would have to open up the door with my hand, so I used some toilet paper extra to uh, grab onto the handle, but I didn't have to do that. I could just used my feet. Uh, my I got some Crocs shoes that are rubber and a rubber toed or pretty much the whole thing is rubber and so I I used those to push the door open um, the door wasn't that heavy so that was cool because uh, uh, some doors are really really heavy and some aren't and, and even and they're heavy uh, some doors are heavy even if they have that uh, uh, hydraulic system or, or what is it the the arm thing right at the top of the door uh, that doesn't that yeah I guess what that does is it just slows down the door from slamming shut um, but then afterwards then I uh, they had a little faucet there and I washed my hands I didn't have any soap with me so I just washed my hands as best I could and then uh, I, there was, I didn't have any towels or anything like that so I uh, dried off my hands on my on my pants after and uh, let's see I probably should have washed well I didn't I didn't have my catheter so I didn't really need to wash my catheter uh, because I, I 